of the flat, we can't afford to do any of the decorations in the house. We can afford to prop it up, can't we? Yes, I mean, th th this is what we have to do. Is, um... I, I went and looked at it. Mummy took me there. And I stood there and I said, well, now, how's it going to be arranged? She said, well, I'm in the bottom and my two daughters will be in the top. Sarah in the middle with Jamila and, as I always say, Vida. Yeah. Yes, in the top. Well, of course, Vida won't live there all the time. Well, it's she can't. Only when She's she comes over from Rome, because she likes the idea of having two rooms to call her own, that she can decorate yes. in the way she wants. Yes. But that will be her place when she comes to London. But also to have a family house. I know, you know, Sylvia said to me, you're mad. You've been uh, living, you've said you wanted to live on your own. I've lived on my own for eight years, Sylvia. I know, but then she said to me, look, she said, I don't want to spend nights in the flat on my own again. She said, I must have somebody around me. I said, you've had opportunities to get married. She doesn't want to get married. She said, no, but I don't want to live on my own anymore, and yet I do. So I said, all right, then. I said, you must be mad. Uh, this is the answer, isn't it? Yes, I mean, the point is... Yes, we're not going to, we're not living, to, we're living in the no. same house, but we're not living together. together no, We've we'll all got our own living space. Mm. Obviously, we'll share bathroom and kitchen to a certain extent because that's fine and, yes. and we're happy to do mm. that. Mm. But we'll have our own living space. Yeah. Definitely. Who's living space? We're buying a house together. <laughs> yeah. but in fact, we bought the house. You didn't tell me. No, I know. No, I felt a bit embarrassed. I thought you'd all think I'm trying moving in, as Sylvia says, in my old age. So you have a reputation of being a great mover. I mean, yes, it's you? quite I mean, true. Just eight year, eight year stint. Your mother does. I've known your mother twenty two years. Never eight years she moved. Yes, but you know, Sylvia, when I closed the business, which is now. Uh, nearly three years, must be three years, mm. after running a model agency and a grooming school for all that time, I wanted yes. I wanted some space, I wanted to be on my own, both both uh, at home and... Um, mentally and physically. Me mentally yes. and physically. Yes, I can, yes. I can believe that. But I think that's a lovely idea. I think it's so nice. Mm. I can understand you wanting to with your family, but a lot of families couldn't live together like that, the different generations. No, but I you can, you see, you're a very close-knit yeah. family, mm. aren't you? I think the thing is also that um, in the years, obviously, we have been living apart, we've made um, new relationships with each other. Yes. So, of course, while yes. she always will be my mother, <laughs> it's not that kind of... I mean, you're not my boss anymore. It's not that kind of relationship. You don't tell me what to do. We have much more well, I, an equal I, relationship. I hope I yes. don't, darling. I hope I tell you to, you know, keep the, keep the kitchen tidy. Well, the whole point is that you're a mother now with Jamila. Therefore, mm. you... you you are a mother in your own right, the same as she's a mother. Yes. So really, it's just like two friends. Age yes. doesn't really matter because age never counts. But you get on so and well together and yes. can make, make it together. That's true. I think there must be thousands of mothers sitting and thinking, if only my daughter would be friends. And, and, but the important you know. thing is you must all have your own sitting room. Mm -hmm. You must all have your own bedroom. You must be able to get away. I could not live any more than you could if we had a house and we all had our own bedrooms, so but we had one sitting room. I can't stand no. jazz and pop music. I tell you what I think. And neither can you, can you? Well, I think it's incredible. I've known the family from, from the year dot, and I knew Sarah when she was a little girl of nine, and yes. Sarah had this mansion of a place, and then she had to get out, and she got a divorce. And then she moved into Maida Vale, and it had about five bedrooms, and she said, I can't stand it. She said, their teenagers are all bringing their, their friends in, and I've got to cook all weekend. I can't stand it. I've got to be on my own. So she moves from that place. She said, I'm going to have one bedroom. I know. She said, I, I, can, I can put only one up if they're sick. So she moves into this place in Cricklewood with a balcony where she says, I can sit there, she's in the sun for me. Eight years is nasty. It's another part of life. Yes, you have is. simply got to go on moving. Yes. You, you, and I don't mean necessarily moving out of one place, but you've if it means that uh, to sort of live fully, it means yes. moving physically, then move. And you see, I think, yes, because really. it, it makes you think differently. Yes. Mm -hmm. your, your attitudes, your ideas are going to change. Which is always to the good. And Sarah, yeah. for you, it's a bonus for you, isn't it, oh, darling? Oh, it's wonderful, yes. yes. And it's not so much that um, that you've decided now that you're going to m move your family back in with you. I mean, no, it's an no, equal arrangement. No. We're sharing. We yes. just... What does Jamila think about? We're she's equal. Eight, eight, Can't eight, wait. Isn't she? Yeah, she Jamila, eight? she's eight, yes. yes. She, she loves the idea yes. of, of us all being together. I yes. mean, it's, it seems to her paradise, the thought of having all her family, as much of her family together as possible. Yes. Yes, yeah, and I think that's a, it's a good age. Also, you're not going to be babysitting or anything. Like also, that. today, how can a young girl like Sarah afford to buy a house? Yes. You know, no, in this way, how could I now afford to buy a house, moving from a flat into a house? And we like houses, don't we? We love the mm. idea of a garden, even yes. if it's falling down. We'll, we'll prop it up, won't we? Great fun doing yes. it. Yes, anyway. I think it'll be terrific. I really yes. do. And we like all the same people, generally speaking. Yes.
the same friends. Sarah, I'm going to let you into a secret now. She's, she'll hate me for this. She said to me, I'm going to give Sarah all my nice tablecloths, all my nice silver. She'll do the cooking and I'll be invited out. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. At parties. Only, uh, at parties. only at parties. No, I say because I don't use them anymore and yes. I break them, but Sarah would love to have yeah. them. Oh, absolutely. You? I mean, I do Cherry. have grand yeah. Are you going to look oh, at this good. or are you going to Lucy? Are you, are you going to Lucy? I forgot. I'll look at this Can we see this off? Yes. Yes. Hello, my love. I've just been listening about you. Oh, how exciting. I, I didn't you know either. Well, you had hinted, but it was a secret, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. About I it. would have thought, with all the times you've moved, uh, Lucy, that the, the idea fills you with horror. Well, it does, because I've got so much junk now. <laughs> There's so many of us. We've got so much junk, but I... The last one, the best move was when I moved to a place with a garden. Oh, yeah. Because you know we lived in that flat in Shepherd's Bush. With four children. Yes. Well, I yes. don't know how you. A five-year-old and. I always three imagined little ones. you. Yes, I always yes. imagined you uh, sort of renting a caravan and, and touring the country lanes for somewhere to live. That's like, well, it was a bit like that. I had to it take winterlets when I was divorced. I had to take winterlets yes. and then yes. move out. It got so bad that I used to not unpack the cases and things. I used oh, to keep yes. things in the suitcase. Would you like? You wouldn't like to move now. You're married again. Happy settled in. Would you like to move again? Well, sometimes I think I would, but it's probably just thought of a, a kind of new life that appeals to everybody from time to yes. time. Sometimes I'd yes. like to move again, but it wouldn't really be fair. I mean, Alan went to seven primary schools. I was terribly guilty about yeah. that. I don't know. I don't think you should, because I think there's something uh, very educational about a child moving. Yes. If, it has, if that yes. is the, those are the circumstances, to move from one place to another, then you learn to readjust. Yes. And what I'm much more interested in than talking about my move is is this the spinach? That, um, no, that's lettuce. That's lettuce. Yes. You probably know more about their. their no, but lettuce is. Uh, that's a whole lettuce in that. Yes, world. an aphrodisiac, we used to say. That's right, yes, but they yes. also say it stops you going bald, which. Oh, Chris really? has been drinking it by the time since. <laughs> but how, this is a whole. And you do it in your juicer, of I, course. Yes, I bought a juice extractor after seeing my friend who looked so marvellous. I hadn't seen her for years. Yes. And she said that she was having these raw juices, and that apparently it's something to do with the effect of the enzymes or something. Yes, you know, that's it's right. Fresh and, and it's fresh, and it's, it, it's so concentrated, it works quickly. If you ate yes. a whole lettuce, it wouldn't have the same effect as having it concentrated like this. And you wouldn't want to eat a whole Which one did you, you want me to have? This one? Well, that's this beetroot yes, juice. Yes, I can see that yes. beetroot. How lovely it looks, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it look nice? And the thing is, you don't have to cook the beetroots first with the juice. So you just... No. And they're so cheap when they're raw, of aren't course, they? Of course. Scrub and them yes. and, you know... Now, what's this beetroot? Um, that's for bad skins and... Oh, lettuce is good for your nerves yes, as well, isn't very. it? Yes, very. Yes, of beetroot course Beetroot is for bad skins and um, blood. It kind of purifies your it's blood. A, yes, that's right. And it's one of the big cures for... Oh, I don't know, for all sorts of illnesses. Yes, they use it in huge quantities. Yes, very huge. This one that I really enjoy enjoyed it. It's um, raw juice therapy. Ah, oh, so that's where you get... But you've been into this for a long time, haven't you, this kind of thing? I suppose I have, really, yes. Stuffing it down your children. Yes, I don't know if it's on. made any difference. That, yes. It's by Susan Charmine, and it's the Thorsons. Is it um, English? Yes. You can get it here. Yes, and it tells you all about all the different... Um, even garlic juice for Qatar and oh, stuff yes. like that. Yes, which of, you course. Know, of course. Yes, garlic you? is the great uh, purifier. Yes. Marvellous for rheumatism. I prefer that in tablet form, though. I think when Do you come to garlic... Yes, it's a... And it repeats, mm, and so, but it's mm, marvellous yes. for you. But onion juice is very good. That's Isn't celery. It? That's, That's celery juice. Now, that I was interested, I don't know if you know that, um, for slimming. It's a diuretic, no. so you lose a lot of water, and it also stops you feeling hungry. You know, if you oh, um, really? have a glass, and I do think it does. Yes. Stop you feeling I know that celery is the arth uh, for arthritis and all the rheumatic things, but yes. if it's diuretic, that's part of it, isn't it? Getting the I blood. I it would get. Yes, get, of course. Yes, get rid of all the. the well, those I know. Water. You know what I like to do with these? Fish? I like to make winter soups with them. Yeah. And then you dilute them and have yes. ice and so on. You have on. to drink them when they're very fresh. You know, you mm. can't really keep What's them. What's this? This looks a bit cloudy, doesn't I it? I think that's pear juice, isn't is it? it? Yes, I don't it. know pear Taste juice. Taste it. Pear juice. That's also good for the complexion and the digestive system, mm. isn't it? Delicious. Mm. And yes. not forgetting you pet it on your face. Well, Very good. I do that with you the know. carrot juice. I do you? do because car carrots are cheap and yes. you know, they, they come out quite nice. I drink a lot of carrot juice. The only thing, you've got to be very careful not to overdo it. I think if you're going to drink all this kind of stuff, make sure you don't drink too much in yes. a day and go mad, because yes. most of it will give you diarrhoea to start It does, with. yes, does. you're quite right. Um, but they say that's part of the detoxifying yes. process, not to worry. Yes. But obviously you wouldn't drink pint. No, but it, no, you would, it, it would be very easy to drink three whole lettuces a day. Very easy, yes. and that's too much, I think. Yeah. I well, think it does give it specific breath. outlines in that yes, little book about how much, for, for different things that you're yes. I found them lovely. 
The children aren't too keen. I mean, they, they put they up with like all my vegetarian probably, yeah. habits, but they did think this was a bit over the top. See, that one, that one's a sort of chevron. I was just going to have the old-fashioned accordion plates like I've had for years, because I've been going to this place for a long, long time. And um, I suppose the last time I went was three or four years ago. And went in last week. I finished this dress. Anyway, and then it's just the sleeves. It's nearly fancy. Yes. And you mean to say you can go to this place and have it have small pieces yes, done? Yes. I just took that little bit in for those sleeves. You see, and mind you, I've I've always done this maybe with a full skirt or something like that because they deal mostly with small pieces of fabric for couture business, you know. But what's happened? The difference was that whereas it used to be. Um, just the oh, this is another piece. Let me show you this. It's what lovely. Exciting, it's yeah, lovely yeah. unwrapping it. Look, when I collected this, now this is the sort of thing that I always used to have done. This is flat pleating, and that was just plain fabric. And I'm going to make a little top out of that. You That's see, very pretty. Just that. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It's fashion. very luxurious. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. The old-fashioned name is accordion pleating. Yes, call it a cordial, that's yeah, right, yeah. and Sunray, and yeah. you know they've you got the various Sunray names. Yeah. Those are so fine. But having yes, but having gone in just for that, suddenly I found that the old firm up the rickety stairs. <laughs> I've still got the rickety stairs. Mm. The old firm's been taken over by somebody else. A very nice young man. Oh, our eyes sparkle. Yes, yes. Showed me all these. You see, so I went around picking up all his bits off the workroom floor. So this is a, a new addition to all your uh, show stuff. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Oh, marvelous. Yes. Do you know, Anne, it was funny. I was sitting in Brentwood the other night, waiting for friends with Rog, and the girl came up to me and she said, hello. I said, oh, hello. So she said, you know, you're Anne. So I looked and I thought, my Anne? What the devil's my Anne? She said, you know, you're Anne. She says, the one that made you your, your dress, she said, when you went to your... I said, yes. She said, do you know, my dear? She said, she made my first come dancing skirt. She said, eight layers of it, pink too. And she's as big as I am now, Anne. I thought, oh, that's incredible. Is that really? 1958. R rubbish. Th that's what she said. So that's how long you've been in the business. I was, uh, I was no more than three and a half years oh, old. Oh, yes. 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 Your parents yes. put but, you out to work. No, but you see, when I was teaching, I had to I had to do dressmaking to earn to money earn. to yeah. live on. So, yeah. that, I mean, it's quite, I don't remember the, the you don't thing. Remember I don't remember it. the thing. I've been she said. Yes, that's right. That's where I was living. But I used to do so much of it anyway, yeah. you see. Yeah. I'm how how do have you know. been doing these sort of demonstrations and things then? Well, I I mean, all this I've done since I left teaching, so it's more than ten years. And yet every week, like this week, yes, I've I know. discovered this something new. Yes. Mm. Hey, look at this one that looks but like ribbon you weaving. It? You see, that's a flat piece of material. I'm going to make this up this weekend. Now, will that see. stay forever? Well, this one, I shall back with an iron-on interfacing, uh, just in the same way that that Terry does these. He, th his father invented most of these designs, the complicated oh, designs, you... and that's backed what? with an iron-on interfacing to keep so it. So do you so just press that on yeah, lightly yeah, and it will stay? Yeah, so it'll, it's washable. But if it's um, synthetic fibre, yes. it's permanent anyway, you see, because the fibre is actually cracked. What did they do? He was drawing some of these out. He's got rolls of brown paper, like that, laid out on the bench, and a ruler and a pencil, and he simply draws out the lines. I suppose he's copying his father's old designs with the complicated ones. And then he creases the paper on these lines, and then incredible. that makes the pattern. Fantastic. And then they, hours. It does, it does. <laughs> They take the fabric, you see, and flatten it out on the paper. And there's a man there with blocks and things. I'm forcing it into creases. Mm. And then it crunches up like that, and it's rolled up and put in a steam, a hot steam cabinet. And that's it. It comes out like this. Is it very expensive? Well, the, you know, it depends how complicated the design is, but it's so much a yard per oh, width. Mm. Yes, so it if you cost in the time it takes to yes. fold a piece of paper like that. Yes, yes. that's right. But, I mean, they go on using them. Keep on using the patterns. What, what else did he get? Oh, now, this was a bit of, um, what's his name? Not Superman. Who's the other fellow? With the, with the oh, fancy. Flashy. Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon. Yeah. That's a bit oh, of flashy. flashy. <laughs> that's what I could think of. of. Flash Gordon's collar, that is. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. They did it there? Yes. Isn't it good? Oh, yeah. That's amazing. But the things that I'm going to be able to do with this, and he was—he was doing—he has done things for um, 
the Queen and Lady Diana's pleating. And mm. Then that's do you have to do special commissions, or do they turn up material no, they, um, pleated in a certain way they, and hope people come about? No, they, they do both now. You see, when I used to go there before, uh, it was just a place where you took a small piece mm. and just had your skirt done or whatever it was. Mm. And the other company did large quantities for the making up trade. Well, now they do both, you but see. But you, mm. I mean, you'd be absolutely a one-off, wouldn't you, with, with something like this, to take this, take oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, that's what I like about it, because when I've made this dress with just the yoke and cuffs out of this, yes, been, yes. That, is, that is absolutely... Yes. Original. Well, it's, it's to you, yes, because you've designed your yeah. own style, in it. Yeah. But it's it's one of them, isn't it? People sort of came and went. So I thought they had a small team, didn't they? Moving in for a few weeks at a time. So there are some new There are some fabrics, he says, you, you, you know, he would advise you not to not do. To do you yeah. know, but he does tell you when you... Sorry. Sorry, yes. Go in. I quite liked it, but then I was moving out again. I mean, I was only there for a short while, so... Yes, I can imagine. But I think all these afternoon meetings for tea is like communal living. So I'm giving all my, all my uh, secrets away. But you always what, ask me you? around to tea, so you like company. You always ask me. I love that. No, we were talking Anne. about communal yes. living. Lucy was saying she, she enjoyed communal living as such when you were younger. But when yeah. you had the children on your own, that was. Yes, I was only there for three weeks in Scotland. Yes. Like, it's not really a, a good pitch you know, of time. To, but I found it was how, really how many supportive. Were there? Well, people came and went. There were about oh. four cottages, and they were all cram packed. But it was nice to have other people in a supportive... You know, I didn't feel oh. that I had the children Was it sort totally. of like with you a halfway house while you were moving into a, well, yes, somewhere else? Well, yes, I'd just gone to stay with friends because yeah. I, I was looking for somewhere to live. I, I have always been um, rather sort of thought that I would like to... If I You'd was, love it. If I was yeah. on my own, yes. you know, without Sammy, um, I think that... Because I do like people, but if you've got a, <coughs> a lot of you... Well, the same ilk, all artists or craftsmen, Mm. And if you could live in small cottages and just have one big area that you could all meet, I think that would be ideal. Like around a village green, do you? a community. Yes, I do. You see, I tell you what I'd be afraid of, and I would have thought you would have felt the same. I couldn't bear anyone to touch my things. <laughs> I'd borrow my scissors and use them for... <laughs> but you, do, you could lock them away. I could have You'd have them on bear. chains, Anne. I would. <laughs> hate it. You know um, what I'm like when any of you touch anything. It belongs <laughs> to me. <laughs> And I, would I think be, the uh, one thing that I hated the most was this sort of lavatory, because it had no door on it, oh. and nobody else seemed to mind. Well, I, I couldn't stand to get that. Up. I'd have to have my privacy. But Imagine watch standing the up in the right. bath with everybody looking in at you. Yes. But I, mean, I, don't oh, think, no. I don't think it would have to be like that, would it, really, Lucy? Well, no. I, mean, I think generally I people are. who people bath together and, you know, walk about in a few clothes. I found that difficult. I was the only one with three dresses on. I, di I didn't like that aspect well, of it. That's incredible. You could get I, used to I it. can't believe it because I'm joking. Because as far as I'm concerned, I can willingly walk around, sort of. And I never bother about bodies at all, male or female. But I suppose that's really a basic training left over from the last war, somehow. But Sarah, you've got <laughs> friends who share, who actually do live communally. Yes, yeah, so I know from your school friends. Yes, quite a, quite a lot of them, and the, some are more successful than others. And I find that the ones who, in the end, are most successful are the ones who have a um, a, a rotor for doing work. And it sounds very regimented to begin with, but it, it in fact, it um, does away with a lot of the quarrels and the um, tension mm. of just waiting for people to feel like cooking or to feel like cleaning up after them. You know, people, mm. I, I find that those actually work. And but also, sorry, people who have the same standards of cleanliness. Yes, Either yeah, they're yeah, all yeah. sluts yes. or you they're all um, yeah. very yeah. Uh, finicky. I but have to live with, I even, have to live with the untidy Even a, yes. a home, um, like the the rest home that Avril runs for her elderly people. I mean, that's communal living, isn't Indeed it? Indeed, it is. It's mm, exactly the either. same thing. I, think I wonder what the effect on Kibbutz children. You know, the actual psychological effect, because they, in fact, all the children go into nurseries. No, it's they? changed very oh, much. It? I have stayed. I have lived on a Kibbutz. It has yes. changed enormously. In most cases, uh, the children were kept separate in in, in separate yes. nurseries. But no, you have units where the family is together. Oh, but I think with if you choose to live communally, say here. I think you've got to have had a lot of experience of different types of living. A lot of the failures are because people have nowhere to live mm. and go in, and it's a roof over their head. Yes. But planned communal living. I yes, think usually the people don't have jobs, do they? Most, I mean, well, where I, I don't think they had allowances yes. and things. They didn't actually have jobs. So everybody had lots of time, therefore, they generally seem to be calmer than your average busy working But a person. lot of them are younger, aren't they? I think, I think it must work 
to a certain degree better when you're older because you are more experienced mm. in letting go. Exactly. Mm. Yes. And yes. also, I think so. the, the yes. younger the younger you are, um, the more likely you, you are to feel that people are going to treat you as if they were your family. Yeah. Therefore, you can behave as you want. I can't. And you've got to be both flexible and, yes. and respectful of the other people if you're going to live. Yeah. Successfully communicate. I think mm. if you're going to live with somebody, you've got to be on their wavelength with, and in tune with what they do and their way of life. I mean, I couldn't imagine, say, living with somebody that's hammering all day long or, <laughs> or, or making sort of dolls' houses all day long. Now, I could live with Anne because, uh, because you're, not so. you're not coming to live no, with me. I'm, I'm just telling no, you now. what you do, I mean, I find it interesting and I like sewing myself. Yes, I, could, I probably could live with Trey. I don't know whether I could going. live with you because you're banging all day long again. <laughs> two people is a communal <laughs> living. You can't no. just live with Cherry. You've got to have all of us. Oh, no, it would include Anne and Look, Daphne, but we'd have to put Daphne at the back. It wears me out hammer. just having one person stay for the weekend. That's been living with a group of people I'm sure I'd be you I find been alone noise. Now. I think I think mm. noise would be the the um, mm. the main thing for me. That I I can't live with other people's noise. They're kind of. And there'll be another house party at the same time next Friday afternoon at two o'clock. <laughs>